Hi, how are you doing? Um, I'm going to show you how to find the sum of a sequence and I think that, that it's easy to do it you just have to follow some steps some easy steps and apply the properties of sequences so I'm going to show you two examples about it and this is the first example the sum of k squared minus 2k plus 4 from k equals 1 to 50 okay the first property that I want you to notice is that as we have sum we can uh, distribute the sums per each term of the sequence so this this sum could be just This sum could be expressed as as the um, as the sum of each term. Okay, this is one of the properties of sequences. Then we can just simplify each one of this. Okay. Um, for for example, for this sum that we have here, we have a constant times k, so we can factor the constant from and out of this sum. Okay, this is another property. And after we have this, we can just apply equations that tell us how are the each sum. For example, this sum this sum if instead of 50 we have n this sum is the same as the fraction n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided 6 this sum this sum This sum is when the sum drawing out so until n is n times n plus 1 divided 2. And finally, if we have this sum a constant c k okay, is not k k is it, we i can call it the counter and in a sequence uh, the counter is just like the variable of the of the function okay remember that a sequence is just a function whose domain is an integer so k okay, will be like the the independent variable and in this case, c is a constant, there's no variables, so you just have to multiply n times c. Okay, these are the three equations that we have here in this exercise. If, if you want to know more properties of sequences, you just have to find a book that tells you about sequences and you check the properties and you can see all the properties of sequences. Okay, but we have this, and now we just have to apply the equations to solve each sum. So, for example, the sum of k squared from k equals 1 to 50, so uh, n equals 50, so we just have to copy the equation 
and changing by 50 50 50 50 and thus we just have to change this sum by this fraction and n equals 50 and finally here we have 4 that is c and 4 times 50 is just 200 200 You just have to simplify this expression, okay? Use arithmetic to simplify. So it becomes a, a sum that for some people is difficult. We just convert it into an arithmetic problem that is easy to do it. So let me show you. 50 times 50 plus 1, so this is 51. 2 times 50, 100 plus 1. 101 this is 50 times 51 uh, 2 that comes from this 2 will be uh, multiplying the 50 times 51 divided 2 so we can simplify out this 2 this and this to have 50 times 51 okay we can see divided by 1 but you know that division by 1 is the same number so 50 times 51 okay and 50 times 51 is just um 5 times 1 5 5 times 1 25 times 10 50 times 51 and we have to simplify this expression as well so let me use a little bit of, of arithmetic you can use your calculator to determine that okay I'm showing you how to use arithmetic to simplify I don't have a calculator here so let me simplify here um, 6 divided 2 is 3, 50 divided 2 is 25, we can simplify out 3, 1, 51, the third part is 17, so we have 25 times 17, times 101 okay so now we just have a multiplication a multiplication I'm gonna use the calculator to have this multiplication okay I told you that I I don't have a calculator but I have one here okay I prefer to simplify the most I can before using the calculator okay 42,000 42,925 And now we just need the, the answer. So minus two thousand five hundred and fifty Five 
575. Okay, this is how you determine a sum using uh, properties of sequences. So my hint is that you should have the properties of sequences if you don't know it, but if not, remember that this sum just express just is just express numbers that, that are in in a sequence okay so for example uh, this sum this sum what represent this sum This sum is just from k equals 1, so 1 to the second power plus 2 to the second power is a sequence, so k1, 2, 3 to the second power plus until you get to 50 the last term here to the second power okay so remember that this is a sum this is how you express it when you understand this it's easy for you to remember the properties because if this is sum this is a sum this is a sum sum is uh, commutative so I can change it is associative I can do this I can factor things okay but if you want to be sure and be clear, have a table with the properties of sequences. Okay, I hope that is clear how to find sums of sequences, how to apply it, how to find some formulas. And if you have any question of comment, just let me know. Goodbye.